Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Avrina. I'm Simas. And we literally just quit our jobs to travel the world. So far, we've been to Mexico, Guatemala, Japan, and we're currently in South Korea. So we decided to name the channel Changing Locations because that's exactly what we plan to do. Also, it took us a long time to figure out a name for this channel, right? Even like Googling like ideas and yeah. thinking like, what do we call ourselves? Because we thought it was so lame to just call it our own name. So yeah. we're like, we need to do something action related. Yeah, and we even went on ChatGPT. <laughs> like it took us like six months to come up with an actual name for this channel. And we coined the term changing locations because we plan to change location. I think it's important to mention that we like, our backgrounds are from New York, yeah. so that's like the mega city of, I guess, of America. Of mega cities. Or like the world capital, kind of, but really it's not, right? Because right. there's so much of the world to see. And, and if you're from New York, if you know, you know. <laughs> New York, New York, like the city of New York, like if you know, you know. Right. So <laughs> we decided, we didn't, we've done plenty of traveling before launching this channel, but we decided to launch it now. And we won't count any countries that we visited before. Before, yeah. Right. So, but just to give you guys a sneak peek. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, okay, okay. What, yeah. what cities did we visit before? Be way, or what countries did we visit? You're before? talking about in the before before times. The before before times. Uh, we visited Jamaica. We visited um, Lithuania. Lithuania, Denmark, Sweden, Finland. Uh, Finland. We visited Malaysia. Yeah. Thailand, Thailand. Indonesia, yeah. the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't count. We can't okay. say we went to the Philippines. All we right. went for 18 hours. <laughs> uh, Spain. Yeah. Italy. Yeah. Um, where else did we go? I don't remember. But oh, St. Martin. Yes, <laughs> that was a very good one. So just to show you guys, we have been traveling. We've done a little traveling in our time, but we decided that we wanted to travel full time. Before we discuss why we want to travel full time, we'll tell you guys a little bit about ourselves. So, a little background about us, we are actually from New York, like we lived in New York for the last 10 years. We met about 7 years ago. 8 years. Oh, 8 years yeah, ago. Yeah, 8 years now. And we got married like 3 years after we met. And we actually got married in Manhattan, so like we're that New York. <laughs> Yo, we have a picture in front of the courthouse of our like... Uh, wedding yeah it was happening like, right there it's just like literally our parents and one one group of my little like friends basically that yeah, came and that's yeah. it and we basically like our wedding felt kind of like a DMV wedding so we didn't really have a wedding ceremony yet so we plan to do that I don't know in a few years <laughs> but we actually do want to actually yes, have yes. a wedding ceremony but other than that we both like went to school in the New York New Jersey area and after school, we um, he started working in finances. Right, I worked in finance for I want to say like eight-ish years, and then because I graduated school before her, because obviously I'm older than her, and then you got your medical. Yeah, let them know you're older. That's right, I'm older. <laughs> and uh, you got your little medical stuff together, yeah. and then you worked in the hospital. I worked in sciences. He was finance guy, and I worked in the hospital for a year. Right. And we started planning to have a family and I even bought baby clothes. <laughs> like <laughs> I bought baby clothes. I was ready to be a mom except for the pregnancy part. <laughs> and then we decided to probably not do it because his job didn't work out and um the baby didn't really work out either. So right. we just decided, "Oh, let's travel." Yeah. <laughs> and here we are today. <laughs> So we basically have this permanent question from everybody, why? why? Our parents, our friends, people are like, why are you guys doing this? Yeah. You guys have pretty good jobs, you live in a pretty good place, uh, you, you guys are educated. Yeah. yeah, the money was pretty good. Um, the why is because we caught a serious travel bug when we went to Southeast Asia. Last and, year. Yeah, last year, in uh, end of 2022, and we were like, yo, this is so great. And we only have literally a few weeks of PTO that we could coordinate between each other. Yeah. And we went there and we tried to like fill it all up, but it's just not enough. It's, yeah, it wasn't. It's not enough to experience the culture fully because it's like, okay, four days in Malaysia, like five days in Thailand or whatever. It's just, it's not enough to truly get to experience the culture because it's like you're running from place to place mm -hmm. and then you have to run back and then go back to work and it's like you never went there. Yeah, true. I always thought to myself when I was in school 
and I'd finish and get a job and then you'd get like one or two weeks of vacation mm -hmm. and then you'd just come back and then it felt like the vacation just never happened yep. and you're just back to real life. So I think that was the part of me that kind of like wanted to like permanently vacation, but it is far from a permanent vacation. Oh, yeah. Also, I want to say that the time when we were in Southeast Asia, it was one of the more like the most mentally relaxing time that we've had. We were living off of like probably $50 a day or even less Period. and we were so happy and then we went back to New York where we're living off of I don't know $150 a day or, or, more, or even more and it was just such a race and a rush and like everything was like crunch we gotta do this we gotta pay this mortgage we gotta um like do this investment like I was finding new ways to invest we were like we were just so like angry to make it not really angry but like eager. in such eager like yeah. to make it and then when we were in Malaysia and, and Thailand and then the Indonesia, we were just like, wow, this is life. Right. So it was such a contrast. And it's not that we're not still eager to make it, but like you feel less anxious. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a different way and a different approach of doing it. And now like having experienced a little bit of a different perspective in like in Mexico or here in yeah. South Korea or Japan, it just, you just see how different people will see life and it's, uh, something I think that could never happen had we held on to like permanent jobs and just traveled to a place for a short time. And not everybody feels this way, right? Yeah. Not everybody feels the need to like immerse themselves completely. But for us, we felt like the two weeks wasn't enough. But for you, you probably just want to go back to work right <laughs> away. Or like I have a friend like that. She was in Greece on vacation and she's like, yeah, I want to go back. I'm, I'm bored. I want to go to work. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. But it depends on the individual. So this is not for everyone, but we decided to give it a full time try. And this is where we are today. So were we scared? <laughs> I'm stretching my back over here. Go. Of course we were scared. I'm still scared today. Were you scared, bro? Um, I wasn't that scared. I think I was. I was actually really looking forward to it, honestly. But yes, obviously it's concerning because like I'm used to living a certain like institutionalized life of like go to work, go to work, go to work, go to work. Weekend, weekend. Go to work, go to work, go to work, and then weekend. You know. So it's like. Now it's like, it's always work, but it's always also like leisure yeah. in a sense. So you have to have full self-control over what you're doing yeah. and just schedule everything in a sense where it's, it's tough. I think it's really difficult, but it's also really exciting. I'll just end it off and say that I'm still scared. <laughs> Every day I wake up, like we have no money. <laughs> <laughs> which is not really true but like you just feel like you don't you know because you're used to having like your paycheck come in every week and so but you literally gave up everything to just experience a different way of life so it is kind of scary and it's really not for everybody i have yeah. mental breakdowns like every other week but <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not for you too right? maybe it's not for me who knows but it definitely is a scary and risky thing that we decided like if we don't do this right now we're never gonna do it yep yeah yeah, we so, bounced around a lot of different ideas of what to do, but yeah. we decided like, all right, we could travel now. We'll figure out everything else later. Right. So you guys may be wondering how to even begin preparing for something like this. I've had this dream for many years. I actually really wanted to do this, but it was always like, are we ready? Do we really want to do this? Are we scared? Should we just wait it out? Should we like make enough money and then like go and travel the world? And we decided to just do research and see what other people did. Yeah. So it started with a lot of self-discipline, not wasting money, applying for a credit card. Um, we applied. Month. We applied for I think like fifteen ish in like six months between the two of us, and yes. we got all of them. <laughs> and, and in in researching what other people yeah. did, we ran into Karen and Nate. We were already following them because of we were we yeah. were into travel content. So we were following them and then we came up on this one video where Nate explained how they credit card hacked their way through life. And yeah. I was like, we can do this. Right. And then I showed it to him and then he started breaking it out because like our relationship works in a weird way. I find the ideas and then I throw them on him and then he figures them 
<laughs> well, I'm the finance person. Right? Yeah, so he is the me. finance person. For me, I tried to figure it out. But like our finances are totally open between ourselves. Like yeah. it's not just me like controlling everything. Right. But we figured out a way to get to Japan for five dollars a piece. And Literally five dollars a piece. Yeah. And、uh, we will talk about that in a future video. Because we did do a video on that. Yes, and we actually got to Japan in one piece for five dollars. For five dollars. It was totally worth it. And I do it all over again. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, big thanks to Karen Nate for putting that information out there because it's not, it's not easily available to you if you're not necessarily like really searching、yeah. for it. We got our parents on that too, actually. Yeah. So <laughs> we decided to credit card hack, and then eventually, after six months of planning, we saved up sixty thousand dollars before we left. And we ended up accumulating a million credit card rewards points, which is equivalent to ten thousand dollars of cash. And that money or that amount of points you can use for booking hotels and you can use it for booking flights. So that's basically how we plan to fund this trip. Yep. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's basically you. You basically. I like、it. to talk about the finances because sometimes I feel like. Um, people think that women don't have a clue about like what's going on Listen, in the finances this, of our relationship. This woman, this woman knows well, everything. But I need to know everything. <laughs> so that's how we plan to fund our trip. We started off with 60k in cash, 10k in travel points or travel、uh, credits,、mm-hmm. and we'll go from there. See how far the money takes us, and.、Um, Yeah. I don't think we'll be too flashy in our travels because、no. that's why one of the main reasons why we are choosing to go to、uh, Asia is obviously because of affordability. Yeah. Like Thailand and Malaysia, like those、yeah. places, you can really like stretch your dollar much further than you would in places like in Europe, for、right. example. Even here in in Japan and South Korea, we realize that like the prices are really not that bad. It's、yeah. hard to get here, but so is other places in Asia. So we were able to stay in Airbnbs for like four hundred dollars for five or six days, and it really it wasn't that bad. Everything is clean. Like it's it's just a give and take situation. So the goal is for us to try to travel for at least two years, maybe one year is more realistic, depending on how this money situation is gonna go and how we spend.、Uh, but kind of the goal of the channel is for us to show the whole world that we are all just people. We want to have real, authentic experiences with everybody that we meet. Um, sometimes it's a little more difficult depending on cultural differences, but generally we want to just show like the real life of each country, not just like the glamorous tourism. So basically, we plan to post videos of our journey every week, probably on a Saturday, preferably. Saturday Eastern time. Eastern time. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing life outside of what you normally know, hit that subscribe button and let's start changing locations today. Ha ha ha!